guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. As you can see, here at Atlas Survival Shelters, we are building a lot of bunkers right now. In today's video, I'm going to show you how the interiors are built using wood floors and wood walls, which is a T111 wall. The alternative to that is where we do a polymer floor and we do hardy board on the wall. So when you order a shelter, you can say, I want it with wood, I'm fine with that because I want to do a vinyl flooring, or let's do it with the composite plastic floorings on the hardy board because there's nothing that can mildew inside the bunker. It does make a difference to some people who live in different areas of the country. But as you can tell, these bunkers that we make here at Atlas Survival Shelters are big. Matter of fact, this one right here, they're all like this. Look how tall they are. They're 11 feet tall. And why are the Atlas shelters so tall? It's because they have eight foot ceilings, not seven foot, and they've got two foot of storage underneath the floor with built in water tanks. So all the plumbing and all the electrical and all the electrical panels are under the floor. Today's video, you're gonna see how we build these bunkers on the inside. Now this video is important to you if you are wanting to buy a bunker from me because you're gonna see how we build it from the beginning to the end. It's also a good training video if you're a contractor and want to come work for me and build out the inside of these bunkers because we actually need more contractors right now. But you'll notice these bunkers are built with I-beams under the floors that are super heavy duty, heavy duty I-beams on the ceilings, heavy duty plates, steel air pipes. Everything I do is the best. I don't cut any corners here at Atlas Survival Shelters. So guys, sit back and enjoy watching a crew build out a 10 by 40 foot bunker today for you guys. So this is a 10 by 40 that we're finishing right now. They put in the wood, we put in steel beams for the walls. Uh, he's uh, floating the floor for the, uh, for the uh, vinyl flooring on this one. So these floors, that's one and one eighth inch thick. It's not three quarter plywood. It's one inch thick plywood, over one inch. But um, this has like seven foot, six inch ceilings in here. And then there's two foot of storage under the floor. And then you've got two built in water tanks. Two 300 gallon water tanks were built in. That's one of them right there. Remember, these have sliding doors. Honey, yeah. so. They painted the walls white and the ceiling white, and they're doing the inside right now. They put in the new flooring. That's one inch thick flooring. Hey, remember the panels that lift up are 64 inches usually. Only two panels. Water tanks are in. We should probably, we can still spray these walls again, you know it? So he's already doing your flooring. Okay, so just give me an update here. There's your bedroom. All right. You got eight foot in this bunk room here. Shower goes over in this corner here. So this is the 10 by 40 that we're getting ready for a guy in Tennessee. This will be an escape tunnel here. So day three, got the walls and the ceiling painted, putting in the counters. Okay, that works out good right there. Alrighty, got your plugs above. Where are your guys at? Oh. It is silvery looking. Sure looked tan last night, didn't it? Okay, so we uh, we repainted and got your color done. Alright, 
so now they're putting up a 12 inch trim so they can put a sliding door on here. Uh, uh, Alright, you got your counters in. Well, that was quick. Oh, you, oh are you going to make two shells from the ends? Yeah, I'll cut some around the shell. You going to put a microwave up there? Yeah. Okay. Right Alrighty. Hey guys, if you'd like to win one of these gun wall hangers like on the wall behind me in all these videos, all you got to do is watch my videos, guess a number between 1 and 1,000, put it in the comments below, and I have a drawing every other day. But you can't win if you don't watch, and you can't win if you don't guess. So go ahead and put your number in the comments below, and now back to the video. Hope you enjoy it. So that microwave will fit. How much did that cost? Really? It's nice looking. Okay. Getting you an update. Got your kitchen counters in. They're putting up trim. Uh, he's going to build shelves for the corners here. I would only roll the corner of the shelf on the end. Hey, Dan. I would, I would only roll that one and make that one square. Yeah, okay. There's going to be 11 inches. So one here and one here. You have 11 inches in between each shelf. All right. Alright, so you got 12 inch trim on the inside. You see how the rock is up a little bit? Just to make sure. So I have a 24 inch from the counter, it's up 18. But I did that so that we can fit that. Okay, so what we got here? So this is actually a master bedroom. It's going to have a queen size bed. The air system will be right there. This is going to be the escape tunnel when it's done. Um, you've got one inch thick floors. It's not three quarters, one inch thick. Um, we build them in with kitchen counters. So when you get inside the bunker, it feels more like a house than it does a bomb shelter. I mean, we're putting nice walls in, nice trim. This is gonna have sliding barn doors. You come out of the master bedroom, you've got a kitchen and a living room. So you got regular cabinets, you got a microwave above, you'll have a refrigerator in here, you have a full-size couch. When you put your TV bracket on the wall, put it down towards that end. The reason being because the couch will be over here, okay? All righty. Um, what's cool about these as well, almost all our bunkers have under the floor storage. So this one right here has two 300 gallon water tanks built in. So you go through another sliding door and you're into the master, well not the master bedroom, you're into the bunk room. So there's two sets of twin bunk beds in here. You go over here, you'll have a walk-in shower and you'll have a toilet. Then when you come over here, well you got a vanity too, you go through a submarine door you're in the decontamination room. You go through another submarine door. There's another submarine door leading to the generator room. And then you come here and you would walk up your stairs to get out of the bunker. All right, let's see how we're doing. So the master bedroom, got all the trim on. Nice trim in here. Looks pretty. Trim up there. Kitchen counters are in. Overhead cabinets, he's going to build shelves right there on the ends. He's got the trim in the uh, living room. He's trimming out the uh, trim going to the bathroom. And he's going to have the sliding doors in him. Showers there. They find a 32 inch shower? Yes, sir. All right, so those are going to be your shower. This is the man building your bunker. Hi, how are you? Okay. All righty. They're working after hours here, so. Give me a little update. Try to keep you happy. It's a nice looking shower. Vanity's in here. Smooth, it's like granite. Light switches, outlets, the GFIs. So 
now we're starting to paint the trim by hand. He's down there doing the electrical. How many yet? You put 100 amps? Yes. All right. Next time I would paint the trim first, nail it up, and then just do the nail. Oh. Do a special order. All right, so they've got all the trim painted in here. All right, let me go inside. It's working on your uh, your wiring down there. Oh, you built these shelves. Oh, that looks nice. Okay, so he put you some shelves in there and over there. I like that. Oh, the shower's in. Put wood trim around it. Looking nice. It's pretty. Okay, and this is a 10 by 40. These are, oh, oh, I just took my hand on your paint, damn it. Uh, sorry. A couple trying out the shower here. <laughs> Do they fit? All right, come on out. <laughs> Feels like a house in here, doesn't it? Yeah. It's really nice. Now, we're getting ready to put in the, the flooring, but we got the barn doors. Whoop. We got the barn doors in. See that? Go slide across. Hey, I love it. I love this. <laughs> yep. Alrighty, so we're starting to put in the floors now. He's doing a feather, he's uh, feathering the floors before we put in the vinyl. Now these bunkers feel like houses, I gotta tell you. Here, open up the, okay, go around it. So it's gonna make it so there's a clean surface for all the glue to stick to. Oh, okay. And it'll be nice and smooth. Because it doesn't like to stick to wood. No. No, the wood has got too much oil on it. Dirt and grime. What do you guys think of the inside of that? It's fantastic. I love it. It's everything we need, everything I've ever thought of. I mean, it doesn't feel like a bunker. No, it feels like a house. Well, that's the, that's the idea. You can survive in a bunker, but you can live in one of these types. Something like this, we would actually spend a lot of time in it just to be in it. Instead of like upstairs in a regular house, we'd be underground. This is it. great, man. I'm just, I They're am pretty. stoked. I am so excited. I didn't know they were this yeah. pretty inside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, I've got a lot of footage I haven't released. So you can have it look like a basic bunker inside just with metal walls, but I can make it look like a house inside. Yeah. And, right. and there's some place you want to go to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. The reason there is three is because, um, if you're using this room for your trash room, yeah. uh, that can build up methane gas, or let's say you have to put a dead body or whatever in here, that would create methane gas and it will it will decay. It will be very smelly. Yeah. So the gas type doors keep all the smells out. It keeps the gases out. Keeps carbon monoxide out. Keeps smoke out. Keeps everything out. Not not and not to mention the chemical biological matters. I was explaining. Well, there's the tamper-proof air pipe. They'll come through their stairs. The stairs in are here at a 90 degree angle. Then the travel from here to the wall over there on this one is 10 feet. But there's the door to the generator room and this would be your generator room. Then this is the door leading to the mud room. Here, I'll go back inside and I'll call you in. And so this is your mud room with nice tall ceilings too. These are eight foot ceilings. I can't touch the roof even. Uh, then you come over here, you open the door. You enter the bunker, you turn around, you close the door over there, and see that porthole right there? Open that up. See, I thought uh, this is how you can get your trash out without having to uh, open the door. So you just turn it, there you go. 
So you can, you can put your draft out there. Also, you can use it as a looking window if you just want to peek and see what's going on. Mm -hmm. And then close it back up real quick. So turn, put it back up there. Wow. Open it a little, yeah, hold on, hold on. Open it a little bit more. There you go. Screw it like that. Okay. Then you pull it down. And now you twist it. Twist it? Yeah. See, little things like that I think of. So you don't have to open this gas tight door. You can open the gas tight porthole. So that's gas tight as well. Now, will this stop a bullet? That, that is more than quarter inch still, it's five millimeter, so it's almost quarter inch, but it's a hair over. Um, so that will stop any pistol round. It will also stop most shotguns, slugs. It's not, that door is not gonna stop a high velocity rifle, yeah. but you have the hatch on the surface that will. <coughs> yeah, so these doors weren't really designed to be so much as bulletproof as they are gas tight, but they are thicker than the competitors' quarter inch doors, yeah. even though we didn't, they call that bulletproof. I don't even call it bulletproof because they won't stop a high capacity rifle or a high uh, velocity rifle, but they'll stop all the pistol rounds. Stop the 9mm, 10mm. It'll stop 9mm, all pistol rounds, yeah. um, 22s, all, all stuff like that. But on the surface, you're going to have the hatch that um, will stop everything up except a 50 cal because it's 3 8 AR500. Yeah. Well, well, this is kind of a first of this series of videos where I'm showing this before it's done. But you can see how cool that is. So it's yeah. like, all right. Plus, plus, you can shoot through that hole. I like that idea. Yeah. Stick a pistol through there. And yeah. Yeah. Shoot away. You can shoot through it as well, but they can't see you. So that's really a thick hatch right there. Yeah. So that's over a quarter inch as well, right there. That's actually three eighths. Yeah. So three eighths will stop most of the rifle rounds. So you can open this up, put your pistol, bah, 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 shoot in there, and, shut it up. and never expose your body because I'm standing here, but well, bam, 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 bam. Okay? But throw some tear gas through there. You can also throw tear gas in yeah. there too. Yeah. So you see how important that little porthole is? Yeah. And that's on every one of my bunkers. Wow. Wow. I am impressed. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that is really, really cool. That is really I think like a sick man, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> so as far as the interior goes, it's all metal. Um, we're using a one and eight inch floor. We're using a regular wall board, but it is an exterior wall board. Okay, so it's waterproof. I mean, it's, it's, it's an exterior. So it's made for not rotting. Okay, uh, then regular trim. We're putting two coats of epoxy paint on the trim. Um, so uh, we do plugs with GFIs. Okay, yeah. um, so if you blow a fuse, you can just press the button and it will pop yeah. back out. This shelter has two electrical panels. One is tied into the hot water heater because it's going to be 220 volts. And then we have a second one over here, which is the primary one. That's a 100 amp service. All right, so they feathered the floor. Now what are you putting on? You put it on the glue? Yes, sir. This is a Eurobon, and this is for the vinyl flooring. So he's got the whole bunker floated out in there. All right, so now he's putting in the vinyl flooring in here now. Okay. So this is the bedroom or the bunk room. Also it could be 
desk and safes in here. There's the bathroom. Got to, got to install the toilet still. There's your vanity. You'll have a mirror on the wall. There's your shower. Our box and they slap your doors or under there. They'll hang them up on the sliders and put the floor brackets when they're done. Air systems in place. Uh, they got it screwed down to the ground. I put you one of the Atlas stickers up there. There's an extra one in the sink right here if you want to put it on the door. Couch is in. Um, it went by and cleaned everything. It's going to put in the toilet on site. Okay, so hatches and doors. Okay, they're getting ready to spray this now and load it up. Okay, last thing to do is spray this mud room. Hey, so I'm going through your bunker the way you would be. This is the mud room. So we're into the bathroom, vanity, uh, there's your shower, over pressure blast off, he'll install the toilet when it's there. We put a shower for your, we'll, get, we'll touch this up, but they had to hook up the shower for the decontamination room out there. Um, you got all your floor storage panels in there. This is your bedroom for two sets of bunk beds. So this is how the bunker's coming with no furniture in it, unless you want me to get some in real fast. I can't remember what we talked about. So there's your kitchen. Your wall bracket for the living room, you'll put your couch here and a refrigerator over there. There's a plug in the floor, do a desk over here. And of course, all these have the sliding doors in them. All right, nice sliding doors. Master bedroom has a sliding door. And then we're getting ready to close it back tomorrow morning and paint it. And that's your NBC air filtration system and it's running, see how quiet it is? That's all the sound it makes. Okay, talk to you later. Keep coming. All right, so what we do is we'll, belt, we'll bolt it in the field, but we'll weld this seam out in the field and it'll be watertight. You won't see anything leaking, no, no caulk with Atlas. Patriots, thank you for watching today's video. If you want to watch the installation of this video, click on this banner over my right hand shoulder here and enjoy the installation. I'm sure you'll like it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and as always, I'll see you on the next video.